Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 in Battle for Azeroth and today we're on the Horde side with my warrior Montu and we're going to continue the quests in the Scorched Sands outpost. So we've got the quest to find Juni, the chef's apprentice and I think he's right down below right where we are now so if we run down the steps I think he's somewhere here. Oh yes, it's greyed out so he's in... Ah! Oh wait, are you hiding inside a box, little one? You can't fool me, Saralesk! I know you're out there waiting to eat me! Oh, wait, you're a grown-up! Please get me out of here, help! Uh, I'll get you out in just a sec, kid. I've got some uh, Saralisks and Scorpions out here. So maybe hiding in the box wasn't such a bad idea for the kid, actually, after all. Don't worry, kid, I got you. I require a target. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to come out here on your own, lad. Savage Sorrelisks. Please help me. I'm trapped in this box and I can't make it out alone. I came here to collect eggs. I knew it was a bad idea, but I thought I could sneak around and grab the eggs before the Sorrelisks noticed. I was wrong. I hid underneath this crate to avoid being eaten. Can you clear out the sorrelisks and tell me when it's safe to come out? Please don't leave me here. Slay eight scale claw sorrelisks in the arid basin. Oh, shame I didn't have that before I killed that one. <laughs> they might be delicious. Sorrelisk eggs are the most delicious eggs in the desert. I mean, I've never tried them myself, but look at the size of them. They're huge. Bigger is better, right? Not necessarily, kid. It's all about flavour. Sometimes the smaller ones are the juiciest of uh, berries, so I'm not quite sure about eggs. I think you'd better try them before you make your mind up. If I go back to the camp empty-handed, says a gin is going to kill me. I think that's a little bit extreme, kid. We have to get some of those eggs. You sound a lot older and stronger than I am. Gather up the eggs so we can take them back for everybody to eat. Don't worry about me. I'll wait for you here. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Gather ten sorrelisk eggs from the arid basin. Okay, so kill some sorrelisk and grab some eggs for the kid because he's never tried them before. But he thinks they've got to be the juiciest ever because they're the biggest. But like I said, juiciest is not necessarily the biggest. And I'm not quite sure that eggs will be juicy anyway. That's berries, isn't it? Okay, tastiest. Maybe that's a better word, isn't it? Tastiest would be Too a better word. So let's take out some of these sorrelisks and then let's see if we can get at any eggs, because we are not the only person here. There is at least a warlock out here too. I wonder if they if we share spawns or if they disappear when one of us picks them up. Actually they might be shared, look, because these still seem to be here where there are dead bodies, so that's hopeful for for the eggs at least. So it might be the killing the sorrelisk could be the hardest one if there's lots of people around rather than the eggs. Wait, is that a rare spawn? The brood mother rare spawn. I wonder how tough she'll be. How much health has she got? She's not I on her own though, she's got friends. A few oh! Ah, now I've not just got hatchlings, I've pulled out all these guys too! Oh, that was probably not a good idea, was it? Oh! And I got stunned. Yes. Pay a little bit more attention. We might need to uh, prevent something like that happening. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. So the so the pummel doesn't work on these. Oh, it did work on it that time. So why did that not seem to work the first time? Did I miss time? Yeah, or maybe I did. I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Yeah, yeah I haven't got enough interrupts to stop it every time. Ah, it works on so Pummel works on stone breath, but not on petrifying gaze. That that's it. Luckily it doesn't stun me for too long. Oh, what did we get? Oh, that might be quite nice. Let's grab these eggs before she respawns. And, uh, 
Wait, what are my professions? So long since I did this that I've actually forgot what the professions I've got are. Oh, let's take a quick look, see. So what are we like? Oh, mining, jewel crafting, cool. Haven't really done anything with the jewel crafting, to be honest, because we've been a bit preoccupied. And uh, to be totally honest, I was expecting the levelling to be done a long time ago. Uh, but with all the other things that have happened, uh, it's kept me rather busy. And we're still doing the levelling. It's kind of odd, actually, uh, how long it's taken to do this. I wasn't expecting it to take so long. So this is the first time I've tried to do the levelling uh, videos for an expansion, though. So we've learned a lot about doing it. And I hope you're still enjoying it, even though we're quite late into the expansion now. But it is the time now to be levelling your alts and things up, because we're between patches. The next one's not coming out for, what, about another month now? So... This is definitely the time to be levelling up your alts and thinking about alts. And I think that there's another quest here as well, isn't there? Snarltooth's last laugh. Yes, that would appear to be in this cave. That's the hyena, isn't it? Yes. Well, in the last couple of days, the classic beta has just popped out. Sadly, I haven't had an invite, um, so, but I do definitely plan to be playing classic when it actually launches in August. And with a couple of friends of mine, Blue Gel and Big Fat Hairy Gamer, uh, we, the three of us intend to make a guild, and Big Fat Hairy Gamer will then raid lead once we've got 40 people ready. Um, Big Fat Hero Game is going to be the main tank. I will roll a healer. And Blue Jelly is planning to roll a warlock. So we have three members of our team ready. And the three of us will try and level together and see how that goes. And a lot of people are saying duo leveling is the best way to go, but that would then leave one person on their own. So we decided we'll try doing it as a threesome and see what happens. Uh, and as I said, we're going to be making the build. So once the servers come out, we'll make a choice about where we're going to roll and we'll let you know. And please feel free to join us and come and join our guild and have a lot of fun with us because we're not planning to be hardcore. We're planning to have an awful lot of fun. And Snarltooth was a lot easier than expected. So, yeah, please do come and join us on uh, Classic. Let me know in the comments below if you're planning to play Classic. Whether you played it before or whether this is, is this a nostalgia trip for you. Uh, is it the first time you'll be playing? What sort of things you're planning to do? And uh, start letting me know what sort of videos you might like to see about Classic as well as we come prior to the launch and after the launch. And uh, we'll see what we can do to help people out. So... Let's get these quests finished now and let's get back to the FA. Oh, there's another one alive. Ah, I just fought one and I ignored the other one. They see, I'm not doing that well today, actually. I kind of feel a bit um, fluey. I'm hoping I don't get a cold because that usually means that my throat goes and uh, then I can't speak, which makes it really hard to make videos, which is really not a good thing, is it? Let's get these videos going, Kitty. And let's get rid of these sorrowlisks and these eggs for that kid. And let's get this kid back in that camp where he's safe instead of trying to be eaten by sorrowlisks. Well, actually, I'm sure he's not trying to get eaten by sorrowlisks. He just doesn't seem to be doing a good job of staying out of trouble. Too far away. I'm a bit disjointed today, aren't I? My head really isn't in the game. <laughs> We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there, guys. Have some faith in me, I guys and girls. Closer. Have some faith in me. You definitely don't come here for pro gameplay. You come here for the fun. And, <laughs> I do not have time. and my inability to say the right <laughs> words at the right time and get myself into messes. Oh, dear. 
Hey, stop trying to bite me, Mr. Sorrelisk. I'm not dinner. I don't taste good. Right, I don't even know how many I've picked up. Right, let's have a look what we've done. Right, so I've picked up enough eggs. And we've killed... A snarl tooth, the big hyena, in the cave. So what I need now is a couple more of these sorrelisks and then we can go and get that kid. I'm presuming we go and turn the quest into that kid and then we take him back to the camp. Because a big hero like ourselves is not going to leave a little kid out all by himself in the middle of nowhere, is he? And if he does, then he does not deserve the name hero, does he? No, he doesn't. Hang on, let's get distracted by shiny things, shall we? Shiny! Shiny! Give me the shiny! Where's the shiny? Where is it? It should be... out oh, there it is. Shiny monolight, it is mine. Give it to me. Thank you. Right, let's go find that kid. Hello, Sunny Jim. Where are you? Are you still in your box? Are you safe in your little box, Sonny Jim? I know his name's not Sonny Jim, but it's kind of an expression. Here we go, right. There we go, now we've done the quest. Let's find the child. Actually, let's take this one out just in case we have to escort the kid. That would be horrible, wouldn't it? Get the kid out of the box and then get him eaten because you didn't clear the mobs. <gasps> Can you imagine? Child protection services are onto you, Mr. Nightborn, for child endangerment in your rescue attempts that went so badly awry that the child was eaten by the sorrowless that he begged you to protect him from. <laughs> here we go. Right, I've forgotten. There's one more here. Let's get it. There we go. Should be safe to get the child out now. Come on out, kid. The Sorrelists are all gone and it's safe to come out. Thank you so much. I never thought I'd make it out of here alive. Do you have the Sorrelisk eggs? You have the eggs. Be careful not to break them. Just roll them under the box. Gentle, gentle now. Uh, kid, I don't want to put me in the box. I want you to come out of the box, please out come on out come on out there you are hello junji young man i'm free i can't believe it i'll make sure to tell everyone at the camp how you saved me oh well, that makes sense oh no we don't have to escort him but uh that's it up oh, straight up the stairs please thank you now you're safe right so we'll follow him up the stairs and we'll turn these quests in did you see that? The kid just ran into the, the place infested by spiders. He seems to be slightly directionally challenged, that child. Right, here we go. Let's turn some of these quests in. Right, let's see. Snarltooth's last laugh. Did you take care of Snarltooth? Here's his head just to prove it, mate. It's good to finally see that hyena got what he deserved. If you're strong enough to slay Snarltooth, maybe we stand a chance against Majamba's gang. Who am I kidding? We're dead meat. Oh, more faith, my friend. More faith. Oh, we've got another quest popped up. Zaljin the Drunkard. Liquid Motivation. Zaljin motions for you to come closer. He's clearly drunk. If I had information concerning Majamba, hick, how much would that be worth to you? You don't hick, believe me. Nobody suspects a drunk. I hear all sorts of things. What do you have to lose? All it will cost you is a bottle of hick, Zanchuli Reserve. What do you say, Mon? Bring a bottle of Zanchuli Reserve to Zaljin. Okay, we're going to have to buy that from the innkeeper, aren't we? Yes, we are. Scavenged good vendor. Uh, Zanchuli Reserve. 95 gold? Are you kidding me, mate? 95 gold for a, a little bottle of... Oh, dear me. 
Right, let's see what we got. No, we don't want that. 204. Oh, hang on, that says leather. That's leather. Plate gloves. We've already upgraded that. Egg timer. 176. Strength crit. Strength mastery. Mastery. Uh, so that. Doesn't want that item. Ugh. Where else? Where am I going to get my 75? <laughs> Where am I going to get my 95 gold if you won't buy my items? Don't want to be a little surprise. Let's put those on the... Actually, did they give us a food buff? No, that's just food, isn't it? Just food, food, right. So, dun 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 195. What we got? We got 210. 209. I'm Right, so we've got our... In, oh, hang on, no, we still need to buy that. 95 gold? This info would better be good, mate, for 95 gold, you know. Here's the rum. Tell me what you heard and it'd better be good, mate. Ah, uh, it's been years since I tasted Santula Reservic. You held up your end of the bargain? So I'll hold up mine. I spotted Majambo's gang heading to the scouting the arena. I heard them say that Majambo hired reinforcements for that battle. Tongo's crew be backing him up now. Ah oh, well, at least I tasted Santuli Reserve one hick last time before I die. So the bad guy that's coming to get us has got more reinforcements. That is certainly not a fun thing to hear. Razgadji, my friend, we have some problems. Majambo is teaming up with an outside gang to attack us. I knew he meant business, but I didn't expect him to go this far. We need to come up with a plan as soon as possible. Yep, that would be a good idea. Do you have a, a good plan, my friend? Tongo. If Majamba hired Tongo's gang as reinforcements, we're in even more trouble than we first thought. Tongo is a cruel and sadistic marauder who takes great delight in suffering. His gang is notorious for torturing their prey. Oh, I don't want to be tortured, thanks. We won't be able to defend ourselves against both gangs at once. Our only chance of survival now is to strike first. If you take out Tongo before the ambush, Majambo will be expecting reinforcements that never arrive. We may be able to use that to our advantage. Retrieve Tongo's head. So, like every time you want me to do this all by myself and you guys are not going to help, even though we've just got you some weapons and things and helped you out and... Stolen goods. It was brought to my attention recently that many of our supplies went missing overnight. I suspected that Tongo's crew was behind the theft, but we didn't have the strength or numbers needed to confront them. I want you to search the hideout for signs of our missing supplies. If there's anything left when you arrive, bring it back here and I'll make sure you're compensated. If we're going to survive Majambo's assault, we're going to need those stolen supplies back as soon as possible. Reco recover six stolen supplies. Oh, are these the weapons? Is this your main problem? You've got no weapons. Bandit blades. Ah, here are... Here, see, I knew weapons was going to be in here. Bandit blades. Here's where we get weapons. Now, that starts to explain much more why they keep asking me to do all the work for them. If none of the... See, I see they're all exiles, aren't they? So if none of them have got any weapons, it is kind of hard to defend yourself. I wouldn't fancy trying to punch a scorpion or a sorrelisk in the face when they're coming at you with the stingy claws and the stingers and the big teeth and things, would you? I wouldn't, no. Bandit Blades. We only have enough weapons to arm half of the tribe against Majamba's gang. We're going to need more weapons if we're going to survive the approaching battle. Tongo's crew is sure to have a ready supply of weapons at their hideout. Search the hideout for any weapons you can find and bring them back to the arena. Retrieve eight sand worn blades. Don't trust. Okay, anyone. so that's all the quests and they're sending us 
So we were down here with the sorrelisks and the kiddiewink and now we're going off to the side over here on the left hand side. And of course we've still got the, the pirates lost in Zemlin to do, but we'll do that later. Let's do the ones close to us here. And we will do that in the next episode, I think. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!